Hello friends, today I'm gonna show you how to use the toroidal blend in PTC Creo Parametric 3. So let's get started. I have created a sketch. This is the rectangle of certain dimensions. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna extrude it up to a length of say 600 millimeter and hit OK. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna choose the upper surface and sketch here. Now go to rectangle and select go to center line create a center line and now select this sketch and mirror about the center line and hit ok now go to extrude and extrude these sketches up to a length of 8 millimeter and hit ok Similarly, select these two base features and pattern it, that is the direction pattern. Select this sketch and let's say the number of entities are 10 or let's say the entities are 14 and hit OK. Now go to engineering and select the toroidal blend. Now there are two certain important things that you need to remember while using toroidal blend. Make sure your geometry is solid. So click on that and go to profile section. You can either choose this end or you can either choose this end. So I'm going to choose this end and sketch, reorient it and take the references of the sides. Another important thing is to keep remember that you have to have coordinate system in your sketch. Now what I'm gonna do is use arc. Make sure to have a tendency and hit OK. So this is first option that is the bend radius. Now if I want to move it around 360 degree bend, so go to 360 degree bend and you need to choose two faces. First item is selected and now second item is selected and hit OK. So this is how you create. So this is how you create how to use the toroidal blend in PTC Creo Parametric 3. Thank you for watching this tutorial. 